Hi, I'm Martha. Welcome to another edition of Adulting with a Disability. Today I'll be sharing about my skiing adventure that I went on last year. If you haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to click subscribe and tap on the bell so you get notification of new videos that come out. Last year, I decided to go skiing with my friend Greta, who goes skiing every year. You guys met Greta in my last video. I'll put a link up there so you can check that one out. Today, I had no idea what I needed to do to go skiing was an understatement. I found as many people as I could and asked them lots and lots of questions. Firstly, I had to sign up with Disabled Winter Sports Australia. I'll put a link down below to their website so you can check it out. You have to fill in a form and then you also have to talk to your doctor and get them to fill in a form to say that you're fit enough to ski. I then made contact with the instructor at Perisha to see what availability they had before I booked my accommodation because there was no point in getting to Perisha and then not being able to ski. The instructor took me out on a sit ski so I had to make sure that the sit ski was available as well and they are amazing. Check out this photo. The reason why I use the sit ski is because I don't have control of my arm so I couldn't use the stocks so I had to be totally um, directed by a instructor. After I had booked my skiing time I then booked at the station at Perisha and look it was fine wheelchair access is okay and we had a good time there. The next thing I had to tackle was what equipment and ski wear I needed to buy or hire in order to be warm enough and safe enough on the slopes. So I found a friend who had been before and she gave me the lowdown. So we were lucky that we went skiing at the end of the season season and all the equipment was half price or reduced a lot so instead of hiring I bought all my equipment in regards to ski wear I have a helmet goggles gloves a scarf a ski jacket this one ski pants and then under layers I wore leggings t-shirts long sleeve t-shirts, socks and ski boots. Once we got to Perisha, we had to get set up in order to go visit the ski slopes. In order to do this, we had to buy a two day lift pass, which you put in the sleeve of your jacket to get through the turnstiles on the ski slopes. A two day national parks pass, which is free if you have a disability parking permit and we also had to hire snow chains for the car you're not allowed to travel up to the ski slopes without changing your car because if they um search your car and you don't have them in there you do get fined so we did all that on the first day that we went skiing, we had a place to meet our instructor, which we did. And then they put me in the sit ski and they strap you up. So pretty much a five point harness, you strapped across your legs, across your shins and your feet. The only thing you can move are your arms from your elbow down. I was also able to lean from side to side in order to help my instructor steer the sit ski. Once we were all set, we, we were ready to go and away we went. With my ski pass in my arm jacket, I was able to swipe at the turnstile 
and get on the tea bar and the chairlifts to get up and and go up the slope. I squealed and laughed so much. It was the most exhilarating experience. Even just going up was just thrilling. So then my instructor told me what I had to do on the way down and that is you have to lean into the curves. And it's so good, so amazing. I absolutely loved it. And on the second day, we even cut up some corduroy. So corduroy is fresh snow that has been ploughed the night before and no one yet has been on it. So that was like, woohoo! We went so fast down the slopes that I felt sick. But the adrenaline rush was incredible. Now I'm going to show you some pics. And that's the end of my video. See you next time. Bye for now.